There was nothing out there. There was nothing at all. He was barking at absolutely nothing. We already knew that. Okay, so why didn't this turn into a big cube? Clearly I missed a spot, but where did I miss? Ugh, we're gonna have to do this, do this over, aren't we? We are gonna have to do this over. I'm gonna blame Edgar. I'm gonna blame Edgar for the failings here. The floor is pretty much done. Whoops. Why did that happen? I can't drag one block over. Yeah, I can't drag one block over. Okay, so we're probably going to have to redo this cube. Like I said, it's very, very finicky. It's very difficult to get this right the first try. Suck them all out. I have no idea what's going on here. Yeah, we're just missing some parts of the floor here. I'm not really sure why. Okay. Let's get the floor done here. My middle mouse button is misbehaving now. That's Edgar's fault too. Right there. That's what we want. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Get inside there. That's why you want to make sure you're clicked inside. Well, now it wants to bring the blocks out here, and I'm not sure that's what we want. Um, okay. We're missing one up top here. Okay. It's looking okay from this side. Now let's go back up top here. Get inside there. Right there. That's the stuff. Okay, now what? Looks like we pulled some cubes from this wall over here. Let's fix this over here. So that made the floor. And it did pull some cubes from up top here. Let's replenish those. Da 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 da! No, 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 no. Not what I wanted at all. Not even close to what I wanted. Oh my goodness, blocks. Blocks for the love of God. Okay, we're still solid there, so... Let's take this top one here. Move it there. That makes that side. We're still solid there. We took from over here now. Let's replenish these. Okay. Oh, it took from the bottom here, too. What? That, no, why did that happen? What? What happened to my cube? My beautiful, beautiful cube! Oh, it's on now. It's on. It's me versus the cube lords. There was a time in this LP where I said I was like the god, god emperor of Cubeville or something ridiculous. That's not the right spot at all. That's not at all where I want you to be. We need you to be... There we go. I don't know what happened there. The whole cube just disintegrated. The whole cube was like, nope, I'm piecing out. Done here. There's that. Okay. Gotta fill in down here now. A little bit. On this side, yeah, we gotta fill in down here now. Get inside the hole. Inside the hole, please. Yeah, aiming that little tiny speck at exactly the point in 3D space where you want to go is very, very finicky. Okay, that does the top up. We're going to finish this in. This should do it. This should do it right here. And that it? That's the whole cube? Ladies and gentlemen, we are cubed. Beautiful. Beautiful! Uh-oh. Peeking behind the curtains, let's just see how everything works. 
So that was just one of these silly rooms that kind of shows you how many polygons each of the little models is made up of, I think, is the idea here. Pretty cool. I mean, you wouldn't think it's a developer room just by looking at it. It looks just as weird as every other room in this game. But hey, worth building a cube for. Totally worth building a cube for. What else do we got? Our moral wall is almost full. We've got about one more row of stuff to get. What do we have here? We haven't a link to the past yet. Let's do this one. Uh, we need cubes. We can get two red cubes and we'll be done. So once we have two, we can make as many as we need. So we'll take the one, because see, with the one, you can only put one at a time. It's, well, once we have two, we gotta go all the way through here, don't we? Yeah, we gotta go all the way through to get a second cube. This one here, that'll do it. Back in here. We're almost there, guys. We're almost home free. But now we've got two cubes. I can just hold down the button. I can make four. That's five. That's not four. Then I can make how many that is. And then I can make tons. Two cubes. You can turn into as many cubes as you could ever possibly want out of life. Alright, back up to the... Uh, Xbox location. Let's push this in, and now that we can just ride blocks, no more shenanigans to get up there. Hey! Oh, he's shenanigans anyway. All right, you know what? That's that's fine. That's fine. We can just do this the silly way. All right then. I guess technically you could come in here with yellow blocks and do it, but. I already didn't do that. And red blocks is much easier. If you can aim into the little hole properly. Aha! Now what? Some choices are only useful when we make them early. Oh, yeah, see, this will get us into the yellow gun room. But that's why I thought it was a sequence break, because it gets us into the yellow gun room. But you can't actually get in here early. You can't actually get in here without having... I think you need the yellow gun to get in this room. Well, that's fair. Uh, what else? We can do one long corridor. Ah, yes. I remember this one. This is the one where we're coming through and it's like, what the... Okay, but what we can do, though, is we'll just walk slowly. And we can see the wall form up right there. Jump to get rid of it, and then we're good. Remember to jump to get rid of those walls, right? He found an Easter egg! The world is full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. I found an Easter egg in an antechamber. Cool. Cool. What I get? Oh, this floor's going away. Bye! It's a ceiling now. Whoa. Okay. November 26th, 2006, Snake. I guess that's the first game this guy made. I don't know. I don't really know who made this game. I don't know anything about this game except that it's fun that I have it on Steam. That's it. So yeah, just found a little Easter egg. That's all that was. Little dead end area. So this whole side of the map is done. We have a jump too far. Leapfrog. We never did finish Leapfrog. We should have finished this like a year ago. We only needed the two. Oops. We haven't seen our little pink square in a while either. I wonder. I bet I'm, I bet I missed a bunch of those. All right. So guy climbing a wall. There's nothing wrong with taking shortcuts. Nothing at all. So I wonder if that's an alternate path to the green gun. But I don't know how you get through there with just the blue gun because you need both those cubes. Maybe there's something I'm missing. 
Maybe I'm not as smart as I thought I was. Oh, strength in numbers. We haven't done this yet. Okay. Why? I feel like I've already been here before. Yes. Because we decided to not go this way. We made it. We got through. Alright, so that's the up area. And I do believe this is a little... Oh, that's right, because we were inside of the up, inside of the elevator here. We looked and I said, I can see something, and now we can actually reach it. Perhaps. Um, I see what we gotta do here. I see what we gotta do here. We gotta make like a long fuse, right? Like that? Bring it in here. Oh, I lost my blocks. Not a problem. Remember, we can just make as many as we need. Because red blocks are the infinity blocks. We actually need you to come all the way over here, and now I can get rid of my blocks. Okay, so. Now I can stand on this elevator. There we go. We'll just stick it right there. And as the blocks get destroyed, the elevator will slowly move upward. Wait, puzzles. Is this, what's this man doing to this cat? I, this is, that looks awful. Some challenges exist just to test how much we know. That's the game's way of telling us that this is not like an actual challenge to, to like solve the game. It's just saying, hey, do you know how to play this game? And I think I do. And this is one of my favorite rooms in the game because it shows you like the model of the like the fish gun you're using, and it shows you like all the previous models that he tried out, like the design process, what it used to look like, and what he wanted to change. Even like in this super minimalist game, like a lot of thought went into every aspect of it. I guess he figured since the gun is such an important part of the game, it's really got to look right. A correct amount of negative space. Uh, like, one of these set talks about how it was originally an oval, but it looked stupid, so we had to change it into a circle, made it rings within rings. And it looks really nice. So we're done there now. Uh, where else can we go? Deja vu. So there's something left to do here, eh? Um, can I just fill it in? Why is it filling in out this way? That's not helpful. We have enough to draw around though. Just make a big old rectangle. Do it the old fashioned way. The operating on that man's foot. He's gonna saw that foot off. There's no way, no need to take apart what already works. I really, I really hate leaving blocks behind, so, oh, well, we've already been up here, so we already did both of those exits, hmm, let's see now, what do we got over here, a book and its cover, ah, oh, we can finally do this, because now we can just hold the button down and suck away everything from the whole wall, and you can see how deep the wall goes, it just goes on and on and on, and then we destroy all the blocks when we jump through. Oh, they didn't get destroyed. Okay, fair enough. Hey, he got Galaga working. Oh, it's not Galaga, it's the arcade version of Antichamber. When you look beyond the surface, there may be more to find. So, room with got a porthole here. And, uh... Drop some blocks. Yeah, okay, so this is a silent room here. Um... I think we just gotta drag the blocks all the way through this little maze. I think that's the goal here. I think it's the trick. I think it's the haps. 
I want to get in that little room. There's a sign there. Okay, so yeah, we know what to do here. Pretty, it's, it's as straightforward as any chamber gets. It's about as straightforward as any chamber gets. And I guess I should have talked about this little room a little bit before I came in here. We can't get blocks in this room. Obviously, it's not going to work. So there's no way to just there's no way to drag the blocks through. Well, yeah, you could drag through here, I guess. Maybe we'll have to. But we have like an eyeball chamber, and we have a sign that leads to another room in there, and we have a bouncy pad here, and it's just it's just all around, all around. There's like one of everything in that room. There's like that's a one of everything room. But we have this porthole. Remember portholes? You look at them and walk backwards. Oh, I forgot to grab my blocks again. I'll take those with us. So now we can come inside here. And spinning around kind of makes everything change. Did I do that right? I didn't do that right. Oh, we're falling. Okay, we fell. That's fine. We wanted to fall. And now... We got this red thing in the ceiling. We can jump up. Now we're in a different room, falling all the way down to this elevator. Now we're on the other side of this little maze. That's fun. Ah, it's above us. We'll take the elevator back up. Now we're inside the yellow cube from that room. Oh, and it's an eyeball on the ground. It's just, I'm getting dizzy going back and forth and back and forth. Do I want to go back up now? All the way up? I don't think so. I think we want to go down. Down, please. There we go. We made it to the bottom. Um, I think I'm stuck now. I don't think I was supposed to do that. I don't think I was supposed to do that. I think I was supposed to go up, after all. We can fix it. We can fix it, guys. We're gonna make it work. 